The pursuit of financial freedom is a topic that fascinates many and eludes just as many others. The path to financial freedom isn't simply about amassing wealth. It's about understanding its role and managing it wisely. The very notion of dedicating just half an hour each day to achieve financial freedom can raise eyebrows. Yet, this blueprint's beauty lies in its simplicity and the concept that consistency trumps intensity. Instead of radical measures or excessive time investments, it places faith in the power of incremental progress. The Genesis of the 30-Minute Daily Blueprint The origins of this blueprint can be traced to behavioral economics and the understanding that humans often falter when faced with colossal tasks. The process becomes less daunting and more achievable by breaking down the task of achieving financial freedom into manageable daily half-hour slots. It's akin to taking a long journey one step at a time. Before diving into the blueprint, it's pivotal to understand what financial freedom truly means. It's not about becoming a millionaire or buying a fancy car or home. Instead, financial freedom means not living paycheck to paycheck and not being burdened by debt. Also, it means having the means and the security to live comfortably and make choices without the constant pressure of monetary constraints. Your journey began by setting aside 30 minutes daily to review your expenses, investments, and savings. What is the most significant change you noticed? Your previously ambiguous financial goals became clearer. You may think about buying a yacht or having lavish European holidays at first. However, digging deeper, you only want to save enough for your child's education without loans hanging over your head. The daily 30-minute drill can help you channel your finances in the right direction. Routine is key. We live in a busy world. Between work, family, social obligations, and personal time, it takes a lot of work to carve out large chunks of time consistently. However, half an hour? That's the length of a short workout, an episode of your favorite sitcom, or the time you might spend scrolling through social media. By committing this time to your financial health, you're prioritizing it without overwhelming yourself. Financial fitness thrives on routine like physical fitness or learning a new skill. The daily 30-minute commitment ensures one stays connected to one's financial goals, making tweaks as needed and regularly reaffirming their path. A focus on education. At the heart of the blueprint is the principle of continuous learning. Staying informed is crucial with financial tools, products, and trends constantly evolving. A dedicated 10 minutes out of the 30 to read about financial news, understanding market shifts, or even picking up a chapter from a financial literacy book. Over time, this constant drip of information shapes a more informed, responsive, and proactive financial mind. Let's say you are a graphic designer, and finances always seem like a world filled with complicated jargon. Terms like compound interest or asset diversification sounded foreign. But instead of shying away, you can dedicate the first part of your 30-minute routine entirely to understanding these terms. After 10 days or 300 minutes, this understanding made you shift your savings from a standard account to one offering compound interest. Eventually, this will accelerate your savings growth faster. Active Financial Management Another cornerstone of this blueprint is active financial management. Passive money management, like leaving savings in a basic bank account, rarely results in substantial growth. Active management involves understanding investments, exploring opportunities, and being alert to market shifts. Active management doesn't necessarily mean day trading or high-risk ventures but understanding where your money is and making informed decisions about its placement. If you believe you are good with money when you have a large chunk of savings. However, after learning new financial vehicles, your perspective may shift. Instead of passively letting your cash sit in a bank, you explore different investment opportunities. For example, when you want to invest in companies you believe in. Then, you dedicate a few minutes daily to understanding those companies' performance and news that might affect the stocks. 
with those bits of knowledge, then make investment decisions accordingly. Over a year, your understanding of those stock markets skyrocketed, and so will your returns. Debt Management Debt can be the anchor that holds many back from financial freedom. Therefore, a segment of the daily 30 minutes should be focused on understanding, managing, and reducing debt. Whether overhauling credit card debts, reevaluating loans, or simply strategizing to avoid future debt, proactive debt management can lead to lighter financial baggage and swifter strides toward freedom. When swamped with student loans, credit card bills, or auto loans, instead of panicking, you can use the 30-minute window to strategize. You list down all your debts, from the largest to the smallest. Then, he began pouring extra money into clearing the smallest debt first. This approach, often termed the snowball method, gave you quick wins, motivating you to tackle more significant debts. You pay off your smaller debts quickly, and the relief you feel will be palpable. Mindful Spending the blueprint also emphasizes conscious consumption. Today's world is driven by instant gratification, often leading to impulsive purchases and subsequent buyer's remorse. One can significantly reduce unnecessary expenditures by dedicating a few minutes daily to track spending, reassess needs versus wants, and plan purchases. For some people, shopping is a therapy. However, the therapy becomes a nightmare as credit card bills pile up. That's when the blueprint came to your rescue. Instead of curbing your shopping entirely, you can begin practicing mindful spending. Before purchasing, you will ask yourself if you truly need the item or are getting it because it was on sale. You also started photographing your wardrobe, which helped you mix and match outfits better, reducing the need to buy new clothes constantly. The result? More savings and a more organized wardrobe. Fostering multiple income streams. The principle behind this approach is simple. Don't keep all your financial eggs in one basket. When you diversify your income sources, you insulate yourself from the highs and lows of any individual revenue stream. For instance, if one source faces a downturn, the others can compensate, ensuring a steadier flow of income. The blueprint suggests spending a part of the daily routine brainstorming, planning, or managing secondary income streams. Those income streams could be anything from investments, freelance work, and side businesses. While active revenue streams, like a side job or a hobby turned business, are fantastic, passive revenue streams can be the holy grail of financial freedom. Think of passive income as money earned with little to no daily effort. Examples include writing a book, creating an online course, or investing in dividend-paying stocks. The digital age has been a game-changer in creating multiple revenue streams. For example, if you are a software engineer by profession. While you loved your job, you may also realize that the freelance market had ups and downs. During her 30-minute financial sessions, you can explore other ways to capitalize on your skills. You can spend your time creating an online course around a niche IT skill. Post the initial effort, and you begin earning every time someone enrolled, turning it into a steady passive income source. Not only did this venture bring in extra money, but it also served as a safety net during months when your primary job was slow. The Role of Technology In today's digitized age, technology is pivotal in managing finances. Automated savings apps, investment platforms, and budgeting tools can streamline the 30-minute routine, ensuring maximum productivity within the dedicated time frame. While focusing on juggling multiple roles in life, managing finances seemed like another daunting task. Digital tools like personal finance assistance can help you track expenses, while others give insights into investments. She could set reminders for bill payments ensuring she never missed a deadline. Over time, these apps became integral to your 30-minute financial routine, streamlining your financial life. Challenges and Critiques 
While the 30-minute daily blueprint offers a structured path to financial freedom, it has challenges. Critics argue that more than half an hour might be needed for comprehensive financial planning. There's also the risk of becoming too micro-focused and missing out on the bigger financial picture. However, advocates of the blueprint argue that it's not the time but the consistency and the quality of those 30 minutes that matter. Moreover, as individuals become more adept at managing their finances, they can always dedicate more time if they see fit. In conclusion, the 30-minute daily blueprint offers an intriguing perspective on achieving financial freedom. Focusing on consistency, education, active management, and a holistic approach to finances proposes that freedom is not a distant dream but an attainable reality. For those feeling overwhelmed by the mammoth task of securing their financial futures, this incremental approach might be the nudge they need to start their journey. As with any blueprint, its efficacy will vary based on individual circumstances, but its core philosophy of consistency and engagement offers universally sound financial advice. With consistent effort, clarity of purpose, and a touch of discipline, financial freedom is a goal well within reach for anyone willing to take the journey.